the, the, the question of uh, uh, what might be out there beyond our, our, our sort of physical brain and body in some way that people connect to experientially. Uh, and of course there are many reports of connect, many reports from, for example, people who have um, uh, been involved with the ayahuasca ritual uh, that they connect to energetic planes or spiritual energies or something like that for lack we don't really even have a good vocabulary in, in, in science to talk about these things uh, but they're connecting with some kind of energy uh, or sources of knowledge uh, that go beyond their, their, their body uh, in some way uh, and uh, perhaps whatever the if, if these things exist in some reliably demonstrable way uh, it's quite likely that uh, they could be manifestations of energies or whatever that are you know, currently beyond our um, uh, framework of science to even measure uh, uh, similar to 200 years ago in electromagnetic radiation. I mean, so there, would, there would be no way to even talk about microwaves, radio waves, gamma rays, x-rays, you know, 200 years ago. Uh, there was no vocabulary, there was no instrumentation to measure it, there was no science of these things, and so if someone had started talking about radio communication between distant parts of the planet 200 years ago, they would have been considered complete loonies. Uh, and now, of course, it's, it's everyday, uh, take it for granted kind of stuff. And so there's no reason to believe that there's not other stuff like that that we haven't yet gotten our kind of scientific methodology around in some way to measure. Uh, and so the introspective reports of countless people who describe experiences like this under the influence of DMT um, and other related psychedelic chemicals and countless people who describe experiences like this um, as part of uh, very rigorous contemplative uh, meditative practices uh, suggest that there's possibly something there. Uh, and as a, as a scientist, uh, it is, I think, useful to take a perspective uh, uh, as, uh, as people like Karl Popper and Richard Feynman and others have have uh, articulated in the past that if you really want to push the limits of your scientific theories, one should look for instances of things that aren't describable uh, in the current framework, uh, and actually might you know indicate that the current framework is limited or wrong in some way, uh, and pursue you know those those areas of research with great vigor. Uh, so um, I think this is uh, definitely something that uh, a place where where DMT is a very valuable uh, probe of, of this sort of experiential universe.